Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to hack your favorite Android games using Cheat Droid. This is possibly the easiest to use game cheating tool for Android at the moment, with the possible exception of, of course, HackerBot APK, which is even easier to use. Download link for Cheat Droid, as always, in the description down below. While you're there, don't forget to leave a like on the video to boost us in the algorithm. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to learn more about game cheating and game cheating apps, especially on Android. Now, Cheat Droid, how does it work? What are we gonna do? Well, it basically is a simple memory editor. It uh, modifies, allows you to modify temporary game data. We're gonna jack, we're gonna hack this game right here. Um, it's basically a get hit by a bus simulator and we have 142 gold, as you can see, or coins, and we're gonna change that using Cheat Droid. Now, uh, let's just go to Cheat Droid in order to download and install it. Of course, links down below in the description. Just go to Cheatware or Google Cheatware uh, Cheat Droid and download it over there. Um, enable unknown sources as always with these game cheating tools. They're not on the App Store, so you need to allow unknown sources to actually properly install it. Now, by default, this will only work using a root, but it can um, be run without a root as well if you're using a virtualization app such as Virtual Space, for example. But in this example, we're just going to use it straight out with root enabled on Nox. Now, just start up Cheat Droid, go to the game that you want to cheat in. In this case, it's Crossy Road. Now, this will display a lot of temporary data that the game uses to store the um, the current game state. So stuff like your RAM while the game is running, um, there are database files, and there's also your safe game somewhere in there, especially in offline games, which we can use to actually hack the game pretty easily, especially, again, for offline games, as they need to store your safe game data on your local device because there are no servers involved. Now, the hardest part about using this tool is actually finding the uh, right file. But in this case, I've already done the hard work and found the user data. It's the version 2 playerpress.xml. The way you identify potentially useful files to modify is search for stuff like safe state, game state, player uh, preferences, player data, user data, and you might be able to find your game state, which you will then be able to edit. Now, it, it asks us to terminate the app while we're doing this, so we're going to do this, and now we are able to modify this file. Now, this these are all the um, variables and game variables contained in this file. And as you can see, device coins is 142, just like in game. We can just simply change that to 999999999 save. And now we should have near unlimited money in game. Let's just save that. And that is one of the great things about Cheatroid. It is very comprehensive. If you need to close the app, it will tell you um, if it, you need to do anything, it will always tell you, whereas other similar apps will not do that. So let's just quit out of Cheat Droid at this point and go back into the game. Hipster whale. And as you can see, we have unlimited money. We still get hit by buses, of course, when we play it because I don't have any actual skill. But as you can see, unlimited money works absolutely using this app. Now, uh, disclaimer, of course, as always, this is a pretty hard to use app if you don't have a tutorial to follow. So, okay, so that is very important to note. If you just simply uh, try to hack any old game out there, you might not at first succeed. It might not always be as easy as simply checking out a few files and then just and by the way, there are ads in this. <laughs> That's kind of one of the big downsides of this app. But anyways, so it's it's you're it's going to be a tedious process of looking through all these files, looking for ones that could potentially um, house some kind of player save file or some relevant data that you might be able to profit from changing, and then trying and failing and trying and failing. So it's not an easy fix. If you want an easy fix instead, what I would of course recommend 
you do is head over to hackerbot.net. Um, if you want to go to hackerbot, just Google hackerbot, go to hackerbot net where you will find the hack finder that is a tool that will allow you to find legitimate cheats and mods modded apks scripts for game guardian and different kinds of cheats for any android game any ios game and all the games out there um, it will generally be easier and you will also find tutorials and that's the most important thing you'll find tutorials that will show you how to use tools like cheat droid to uh, cheat in the games that you're actually looking to cheat in so you don't actually have to find your own Technique to do that uh, because it might take many hours if it is even possible on a certain game But you will be able to outsource that and just use the techniques that someone else came up with anyways guys That is how you use cheat droid again Download links as always in the description of this video or if you want to check out the other software just go to hackerbad.net by googling hackerbot go to software go to android and you'll find the best game cheating tools for android at this point apk editor hackerbot game guardian hack app data and of course cheat droid and you'll find all the download links over there as well thanks you guys for watching again if you have any questions post them down in the comments like the video for the algorithm and subscribe if you want more game cheating content thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time